patching is another one of the core design tools available to you in AutoCAD Mechanical 2010. Now what we're going to do, we're going to copy selected geometry here from our side view so that we can show our sectional AA view. Now AA, again, let me just zoom out here, is this sectional view here, this quarter section. So we're going from A there to A there. So we need to show basically what it looks like to cut through that half of the side view. So zooming in again, what I'm going to do now is select the geometry that I want to copy. So let's do that first. Select everything by doing a crossing selection. So left click there, drag up this way. Doesn't matter if you cut through those dimensions and left click up here somewhere. Everything gets selected. Now dimension wise, you don't want the dimensions to come down onto the sectional view. So holding down the shift key, click on each dimension and you'll see that they deselect from the selection set. Don't click on the grips, that'll obviously take you to grip edit mode. So what you need to do is select on some lines there that form part of the dimensions. OK, we now need to copy our selection, so go to the modify panel here. Again, we're still on the home tab, and there's copy there. Copy duplicates objects. So I click there, it'll now ask for a base point. Use this end point here of your center line, click, drag vertically downwards, get it just above your text about there, click again, and you'll see that we're in copy multiple mode. So just press escape there, and that finishes the copy command. OK. Now we need to tidy up this view. We don't need any of the hidden detail in the left hand side of the AA sectional view. So I'm going to zoom in a bit, and all I'm going to do here is delete the bits I don't need. Well, that's easy. Click, drag, click. They can go. I'll delete those. This line here needs to go like that. I'll delete that as well. Notice I'm just clicking on it and pressing the delete key on the keyboard. Now I need to trim the next bit. So we go up to the modify panel, trim. Select the center line as your cutting edge like that. Left click on it. Right click to confirm that and then trim this line here to the left like that. Then enter to finish, select the arc from the fillet there, delete that as well. Now you don't actually have to use that circle there anymore. I'm going to delete that now. That can go there and that can go there. That was primarily just a datum point for our rectangle here on our side view. Now we need to convert these hidden detail lines into a different layer. Now, you can do this in two ways. You can select all the objects, use your layer pull down and find the layer. Why do that? You might have hundreds of layers on a drawing. The quicker way of doing it is to do this. Move to another layer. So I select all the objects that I want to move to another layer, like so. Right click to confirm. Click on the layer I want them to go on to. Click here. Job done. So, I now need to hatch. So up to my layers here click on the mechanical layers and you'll see that there is a hatch mechanical layer. So I click there and AM underscore 8 is the default hatch layer for the standard I'm using. I go to hatch here like so, I click on hatch and I pick the hatch that I want to use. So let's go for that one there, 2.5 millimeters, 45 degrees and I then pick in here, the point inside the boundary. Notice there's no select objects, pick points like there is in vanilla AutoCAD. So I click there and there's my hatch. So you can see how quick and easy the hatch tools are to use in AutoCAD Mechanical. That sectional view was drawn in seconds compared to using the normal AutoCAD tools. So AutoCAD Mechanical gives you those extra mechanical tools to allow you to work quicker and a bit more effectively.